I called on the Lord in distress. So whenever I feel times of distress coming on, guess what I do? Call on the Lord. Instead of saying, oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, things are so tough. Oh, things are so bad. That won't help you. Listen, you need to write this down. You need to, you, you need to let this set in your memory. God is not moved by your need. Just because you need something doesn't mean that God is going to move on your behalf. As a matter of fact, if that's the only way you approach God, it won't happen, I can tell you. God is not moved by your need. God is moved by your faith. Now, I didn't design it that way. He did. The just shall live by faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. You are saved by grace through faith. That's the way you're saved. That's the way, that's the way everything in the kingdom of God works, is by faith. It works on the mechanism. Now listen to me. This is going to help you. Everything in the kingdom of God operates on faith, and the mechanism of faith is you believe something in your heart, and you, and, and you say it with your mouth. Believe in your heart, and say with your mouth. Isn't that what Romans 10, 9 and 10 says? Isn't that the way the Romans 10, 9 and 10 says you get saved? It's not just where your salvation is concerned. That is the way your healing works also. That is the way that prosperity works also. That is the way that peace works also. That is the way that favor works also. Everything, that's the way direction works also. Every right and privilege that you have in the kingdom of God operates according to faith. It doesn't operate based on whether you need it or not. It operates on whether you are in faith or not. Woman with issue of blood came and touched, said, If I can but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Mark chapter 5. She came up and touched him. Jesus said, I felt virtue go out of me. Who touched me? Who touched me? I felt virtue go out of me. And the woman feared and trembling told him everything that happened. And he looked at her and said, Daughter, your faith has made you hope. Did he say, Because I am the Son of God, sent by the Father that operates in miraculous power and the healing power of the Anointed One, you're healed. He didn't say that. He said, Daughter, your faith has made you hope. Disciples are on the boat with him. Oh, Lord, Lord, wake up. Lord, wake up. Master, don't you care that we're about to perish? The winds, the waves, oh my goodness, it's terrible. We're going to die. It's been fun knowing you. Jesus said, oh, oh, you have little faith. That fear that was... Now, he didn't say that it wasn't real. He didn't say that it was a figment of their imagination. But he didn't commend them either. Peter walking on the water. Jesus said, why do you have such little faith? Little faith. You, you do understand, he did walk on the water. He walked on it. Huh. Peter walked on it, and he began to sink. I just always think that is really interesting. How do you walk on water and begin to sink? I'd like for y'all to try an experiment sometime. It's nice and warm outside. I want you to go stand on the side of a swimming pool and step into the swimming pool and see if you begin to sink. You won't begin to sink. You'll sink. You don't, you don't step on it and start going, whoa, and just kind of start going down. You step in it and go to the bottom. Peter was walking on the water, and then he looked at the waves and the wind, and he began to sink. And he was close enough to Jesus that Jesus reached out and grabbed him. He was that close to him. Why are you little faith? Little faith. 
So what was it that caused Peter to walk on the water? Faith. <laughs> Apparently little faith will get you to walk on the water. Do you see what I'm talking about? The, the, the Bible, when, you go, when you look at things in your Bible, you will find, yes, there are people that have a need. There are people that had needs all through the Bible that you don't see anything about. That you don't see anything miraculous happening in their life. There are people today that have needs in their life. Well, you know, the Lord knows that I have need of it. And if it's His will, I'll get it. Do you know how much faith is required in that statement? None. Do you know what's going to happen? Nothing. Because God operates according to covenant. He operates according to His agreement that He has with you. And that agreement is based on faith. Based on His Word. 